I love using Visio diagrams for drawing flowcharts, network diagrams, etc. And one of the things that I have in common are they have connections between them. And in a well structured Visio diagram, that you can follow the direction of the connections. There are some times when you've got them grouped together, in, as in this case, in a cross functional flowchart within a swim lane or within phases. And occasionally you want to be able to grab the contents of them. The one thing that's annoying is that even though on the right mouse action of one of these containers, there is a container option, you see that select contents is grayed out for some reason. And again, on the swim lane, I do that and I look on the right mouse menu and I can see it is disabled. Well, one thing I uh, added a few years ago onto my website is a thing called multi-select. It's a free add-in for Visio. And with that, if I select like a phase here, I can go to look at the contained items and select everything that's inside of it. Now, as you can see here, it's selected the 1D, i.e. the connectors and the 2D shapes within it. But there is an option underneath there to just do it by 2D shapes. And I've got just the 2D if I wanted to. And if you've got shapes that come from multiple masters, you can even highlight it so, or can, you can refine that selection to be the particular type of master. So that's one way of selecting things either within, within a, a function band or swim lane or within a phase or a separator. Another thing you might want to do is to follow the route through a particular diagram. So with uh, the start shape here selected, I can go to children. And again, I've got the option of going just to the 2D uh, or I can go to the 1D or I can do it by master or by category. None of these ones have got that encoding there for category, but some of the stencils do. If I was just to select the default, which is the, the big button there, it selects both of the, uh, the 2D and the 1D. So I might want to just go and follow it to the 2D and now I'm down to decision. And again, if I do the same thing and go down to 2D, now into the children of that decision there, as you can see. So we've gone down and we follow that through. And again, if I uh, carry on this selection, it goes down and finds the children of those children until at the very last selection, I get to uh, the, the very end, which is the uh, end point down there in the bottom right hand corner. So you can see it's very easy to find out if they've got a well-formed diagram and you can follow and trace the route through. Another thing you might want to do is I want to find out which other shapes are connected to that one that this is coming from, i.e. the decision shape. So I can just go to siblings and it'll select me all of the siblings. Again, that could have been refined by type if I wanted to. Another thing you might want to do is where are all of these process shapes on here? So I can go by things which are the same master. And now I've got all of the process shapes selected here. And of course, I could go and change the color or whatever I wanted to do there, or maybe even use that for you know, using replace shapes. So there's a lot of options that are added to uh, the, your capabilities within Visio. And all you have to do is to go to my website and download multi-select for Visio. You can see it's been around for a long time. And if you want to donate me some money, I might write some more handy little things for Visio.